probably because Windows and TCP IP were not designed with security in mind, the bad guys um, are doing some sophisticated attacks that easily succeed, like code injection in which they precisely take like a, an instance of IE and basically they make it a zombie by put replacing the original code of uh, Internet Explorer into or what they want. Many of, the, of today's attacks involve using a tool called PowerShell. And as the name implies, very powerful, but no security around it, so people use it uh, to do a very low level and powerful things to compromise machine. And we're going to show several examples of that uh, uh, in this series of videos. Base64 encoded was designed to transmit binary data over a, a, a media that is designed to transmit only text like HTTP and bad guys use that to actually hide text, for example PowerShell commands, they encoded them in Base64 so they work fine uh, but if somebody or a rule or something automatic is trying to search for keywords in there, they are not going to find a thing because when you encode something base 64 is a bunch of uh, kind of a random looking, they're not really random, but uh, kind of a random looking ASCII text that you cannot make sense out of it. It is actually quite common and we'll show an example of that in which the bad guys when they compromise a machine with their executable they actually migrate that into something that looks normal, SVC host uh, or uh, explorer.exe, things that you will, if you look into the taskbar of somebody that it's some, some process that is monitoring what's on the taskbar, they are not going to see anything that is uh, that doesn't look suspicious. When a process is launched from a temporary directory, that's something pretty bad, usually. And uh, also when new threats are dispatched, pipes are open for, for communication. So on the standard way of actually sending logs uh, using WinCollect or any other technology, Snare or you know any uh, Microsoft mm, uh, other uh, mechanism for sending logs from Windows into Curator. The problem is that there's no visibility into these type of things. The, the Windows logs are not that granular uh, for bringing that. So the traditional approach has been, and still is, very effective, is to actually install an agent that has visibility into this, like Carbon Black, Big Fix Detect, FireEye, I mean, there are many technologies that do this, and actually allow those uh, agents uh, to actually send the, the information uh, to Curator. All that change when an additional tool into our arsenal has been provided by um, Mark Rosanovich, who, who is the, the guy who created sysinternals, and in fact, Sysmon is part of the sysinternal set of tools. So think of it as having the Windows logs, when you add Sysmon to it, you end up with a great visibility on all these type of attacks. It's actually pretty impressive the kind of things that you can actually bring to Curator from the Windows logs complementing what your agent actually does. And this approach has the advantage of, because Curator has additional telemetry, Curator can correlate, you know, those things that are happening within, within inside that machine to, for example, things that an IPS or, or some sort of or any other uh, technology is telling you about that specific machine and Curator can correlate all those things. and. What we're going to be showing in this uh, set of videos uh, is the following. We're going to start by showing you four use cases that Mutas created uh, uh, by installing uh, Sysmon and sending all those events into Curator, detecting very sophisticated attacks. If you like what you see and you want to try this on your system and add this to your system, you need to make sure that you have seven to eight plus patch 7 or higher and actually that you have run auto updates to make sure that you have the latest version of the Windows uh, DSM. 
in, a, in another video of the series we show how you install WinCollect. In, in, in this video we actually show WinCollect standalone uh, because that's what we use for the demo. Most likely you would like to do it in a managed system. I'm, I'm sure that you already have that in your, uh, in your environment. Uh, either with WinCollect or any other mechanism for sending logs to Curator. An important part is we show how you install the free Sysmon utility, but we added a filter technology that allows you to selectively choose what you want to send to, cur to Curator and what you don't want to send. You don't want to bring those EPSs uh, way high by sending stuff that you are not going to be using for detecting um, malicious traffic. The next video show how you install an AQL extension that actually decodes base64 traffic. So the curator, curator, the curator user and the curator rule has full visibility and can match everything in spite of being encoded. Uh, so that obfuscation is not going to hide it from curator. Plus a beautiful set of rules that actually detect those and I can assure you that more will come later with additional capabilities now that we have that, that we have the visibility in Sysmon. There's another video that I show how we set up Kali for this attack in case that you are interested in seeing how the bad guys create those artifacts and it's mostly uh, to show you how easy it is for them. They don't have to be very smart, very clever. It's actually very easy for them to actually uh, use uh, these type of tools to create attacks. And we close the, the current, the first uh, installment of this uh, series of videos with a short video that basically shows that uh, we, we, we have the Windows machine fully patched and yet these attacks succeed uh, in spite of the machine being fully up to date. Uh, some people get the, 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 the wrong impression that hey, if, I, if my system is patched I'm good, I don't have uh, much to worry and we close the series by showing that. First installment of the series, we expect to add more use cases and more rules and more component in the future.